I'm sure clients, partners, regulators have lots of questions for you about uh, how the integration of Credit Suisse is going. What sorts of questions are you getting and how are you responding? Things are progressing very well. Uh, we made a uh, shift, uh, very swift um, uh, uh, pr uh, progress in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in integrating uh, Credit Suisse. Uh, we closed the transaction in record times, also thanks to the big cooperation of, uh, of regulators across the, the globe. And that's one of the reasons why I'm also here uh, today in Beijing, because I, you know, this is my first trip uh, uh, to Asia since uh, taking on, uh, um, again, my role at, uh, at UBS. And I think it's very important for me to reach out to um, and all the Chinese uh, stakeholders and uh, reiterate our commitment to China, while also updating them on, on, uh, on the integration. In your second quarter results, uh, it mentioned specifically that uh, client confidence, sentiment, and activity here in Asia was was muted. Uh, are you still finding that's the case into the third quarter? Well, I think that we we saw in general a little pick up in uh, across the globe, also in Asia, in terms of uh, client activity. Uh, so uh, uh, the most important topic for us was to see uh, uh, the returns of assets uh, that that left Credit Suisse uh, uh, in, in in Q4, Q1 uh, this year. Uh, we started to see um, assets coming back at Credit Suisse uh, in, in the, towards the end of the second quarter. We see, we see also very good momentum in, uh, in Q3. So that's the most important issue. But also in general, uh, it's fair to say that uh, investors are more constructive than they have been uh, uh, in, uh, recently. So on the uh, momentum you talked about in Q3, uh, there was a net new money inflow of about 16 billion U.S. dollars in 2Q. You said at the time you expected that to continue. What is it looking like in 3Q? What does good momentum mean? Well, I mean, we, we are pursuing uh, similar um, patterns, uh, so we are not going to be specific on, on numbers. So the quarter is still ongoing. But the most important issue is that we see, we see, see uh, substantial, uh, substantially our our forecast being confirmed uh, and we are getting to the close of the, of, of the quarter so I think that uh, that's very encouraging to see that uh, so quickly um, our our clients are res are responding to uh, our actions to stabilize uh, uh, Credit Suisse and, and 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 to and to offer them the best of the combined uh, organizations it's taken your headcount your staffing to about 120,000 globally uh, and you've, you've talked about, pretty forthcoming, about the need to reduce that number. How much of a reduction do you think is needed uh, at the end of the day? I, I never really spoke about the need of reducing uh, ad count because it's not my and it's not our philosophy. What we need to do is to restructure the bank. Credit Suisse uh, needed to be restructured. Uh, profoundly restructured because uh, uh, out of uh, of this situation, and then uh, we need to extract the synergies uh, that uh, are necessary to make both businesses viable and stronger. Uh, so we we are taking actions as we speak to uh, uh, to to resize uh, the business. Uh, uh, we are also taking advantage of the fact that uh, we had a natural attrition that is helping uh, uh, across the globe. We have demographic trends helping, uh, uh, in that sense, uh, uh, people uh, ex uh, exiting the bank through um, um, uh, retirements or early retirements. We are working also in facilitating uh, uh, movements of people within the bank. Um, also between the two banks as we speak. So I think that I, I, I'm comfortable that we can mitigate the, uh, the painful part of, of the job, which is the social cost. But it's very necessary to, in order to create a business that is sustainable. Sure.